Hey guys. <laughs> How are you? Worst thing comes to worst, I fucking die a tragic death or some shit and I'm not able to see out my dreams. I at least want to know that the kids perceive my message and were able to make something of themselves and able to take my message and use it and turn it into something positive and to, to at least have a good life. I at least, if I'm gonna, if I'm gonna die or ever be a sacrifice, I wanna make sure that my life made at least five million kids happy. What's up everybody, it's your boy Dad Paul. We back and we live, you already know. I forgot what episode we on. You know, I haven't recorded in quite some time. You know, um, I had my last rap um, segment up. You know, I dropped it about a month ago. You know, uh. I got my man CJ to the left of me. Yeah. Uh, you know, he was previously on the old Skino Neef um, situation. Um, the, the state property members beefing in the city about like two months ago. But um, anyway, listen, y'all know it's a lot of beef, a lot of shit, a lot of tragic moments that have been going on around the world and around the industry lately. And, mm -hmm. um, you know, XXX Session actually just like got yeah. shot or passed yeah. Monday. Yeah. And. You know, I'll be the first to tell you. I never was listening to the boy music. I'm gonna keep it a bean. I ain't right, one of those people. Either. I was. I ain't one of those people that's gonna be like, oh shit. Let me go listen to him to actually listen well, know to what he's talking know. about. Yeah, yeah, I know. Mm -hmm. I know of him for the shit that he did outside of music more than his music. Yeah, That's me, me, too. Speech, um, me, me too. personally. Me too. You know, um, you hear about a lot of shit, him going to court right. um, for a lot of different things. Right. But um, neither here or there, you know, he actually passed away in Deer Park, right. um, Florida, in his BMW outside a motorcycle dealership. Tragic. Very tragic. Um, I didn't understand the fact that it was multiple people out there holding their cameras out. Right. And I'm sitting here like, all right, people are like, is he dead? He's not moving. Motherfucker, get up there and see if he's alive. Right. Like that's the shit that's scared. like that's the shit that was irritating Check me. On the man. Like boy in this car, like yo, he's he's Slump. he's helpless. Right. Like come on, man. At the time, and they talk about he had a pulse and all this. Like he ain't had no pulse. Yo, like, I remember like it was yesterday, bro. We was in the crib, and actually it was Monday. Um, we were in the crib, and he was like, "Oh, Dad, look at this." And what you say? And I was like, "Yo, boy is parked." And I'm like. Damn, dog, boy, you look parked. So they came out with a different view. You know how right. on social media they got different sources immediately, like that, yeah. like that. So different I found another, angles. so yeah, different angle. So I seen another video, different angle, and they had a real close up of him. And I'm like, yo, boy, well, he did. Like, yo, boy, right. not moving at all. He don't got no pose. Like, right. none of that shit. Now, I don't know if he got a pose because it's, right. it's on, it's a visual. You feel me? I'm not right. nearby. I'm not touching the guy. None of that type right. shit. So. When I seen it, they said, um, it was a report that came out with a lady saying that uh, he's being escorted to a local hospital and they're not sure if he's dead or not. So it was no right. word on it if he was dead or not. So I looked at the video. I'm talking to my man like, yo, bro, that nigga dead, dog. All right, that's what I'm telling you. Dad, I'm like, that nigga dead, yo. He's gone. Like Maybe about an hour later, he pronounced dead. I'm just right. sitting here like, yo, that shit crazy. So when I seen that, Right. I just automatically thought, like, what beef did this nigga have? That's what I'm saying, too. Like, he ain't really had beef with nobody. I ain't never seen him converse with anybody, like, even talking about anybody where he from or anything. They say he had beef with somebody in, in South of Florida or Miami. But, you know, by, if you listen to him, like I said, I don't listen to him, but as far right. as academics go, you right. know, he had a lot of different um, tabloids or a lot of different posts about Takashi having, like, some, I ain't gonna say self hate because I didn't understand the guy. He, and I'm pretty sure he was misunderstood. Right. But he always was talking about when he dies, when I die. Um, and then basically saying that he has a lot of different enemies. Right. So, you know, it's a lot of people out here that got a lot of different enemies. But well, on another note, they was uh, another um, drawing I seen. Boy was like, well, that's not even XXX. Like, he don't even got tattoos or nothing on his face. Mm. Like, I seen him. Like I seen a picture like that. Up, yeah, he pulled up the picture and was going in no on clock on the face. Yeah, ain't nothing. Like, so what you what you think on that? Like, do you honestly believe in that conspiracy theory that he pulled a stunt, or do you fully feel as though like he's born? Like, at this point, yeah, he did. At this point, he did because I don't know if he was pulling the stunt. I don't know. Like, he did to this to at this point. There's nothing else I can think about. Like. 
There's no signs. There's, anybody can say what they want, but at the end of the day, he ain't say nothing, or you ain't seen him walk the streets, or you ain't see a picture, or I seen XX over here. Like, right. None of that, so. Right. Yeah, he's gone from this point. You know, one thing I don't understand, and this shit to be, it kind of irritates me every time. I, it's not even kind of, it does irritate me every time when I see right. this shit on Instagram or social media in general. When someone passes away, everyone wants to show this motherfucker love as if he that was, was their role model right. or when they, as if right. they're there to receive that right. love or that energy. Motherfuckers made it seem like he was being hated on, right. like everything. Don't forget, not too long ago. He wasn't hated on me. He was a cool boy. Right. According to a lot of people that's yeah. coming out saying yeah. this shit, right? A lot right? of people was real cool with him. Man. Right. And, you know, they had um, relationships um, behind the scenes and shit, right. as yeah, it should yeah, be. Yeah, but the yeah. thing is, they came out on a, on, a, on a media basically betraying the image that he was this type of monster, that he was this, that he was that. On right. top of that, you have to remember that he had allegedly beat his girlfriend up. Right. Blacked right. her eyes. Yeah, you know, I he was going that. to court for that yeah, type of shit. Yeah, And then so, she was trying to go see him and they ain't even allowed to see him. Oh, you read that? Yeah, oh, you seen yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. yeah like I was about to... Radio. Oh, you on your shit. Yeah, like, yeah. see? I was basically about to get into that. Like, it was his girl, ex-girl, um, that was pregnant by him. Mm -hmm. um, she went up to the damn crime scene and bought some um, teddy bears, globe, candles, all this extra stuff. And put it behind the yellow tape. Right. So the fans chased her out, took the items that she bought, and set it on fire. Dang. I've read that. I don't know if you heard that then. Yeah, I ain't heard that. I heard she tried to go view the body and they didn't let her do that. Oh, well, she too late. That they took that, yeah. that took her immediately. Like yeah. I doubt that happened. Like at all. Yeah. Especially when it comes down to he going to court for you. Mm -hmm. like, oh yeah, that's you crazy. Know that was over the family wasn't having that. Like I, I just don't understand it because they don't seem like all these young rappers is out here. He boy was twenty. Yeah, he boy dying. just turned twenty. Like it is, you just think like, damn, yo. All these young rappers is dying a day for nothing. For so what? Nothing. Like what are you doing? The proof? Like, what are you proving? I'm tougher than you. For what though? Your, My guns is bigger than your guns. Like at the end of the night. Like Gilly and Wallow just recently said, yo, when you make it out, when you rap. Your, your objective is to get it out the hood. Right. Why are you beefing with motherfuckers that's broke, that's hungry? You, you already accomplished what you wanted to achieve. You get what I'm saying? Right, so it's right. to the point where you got people out here, like you said, I'm tough for you. You got people getting right. all these face tests. Right. You get, I mean, tatted the fuck up in the face right. and getting exposed. And speaking of getting exposed, we're going to touch on that topic of Takashi 69. Right. Now, I ain't going to hold you. You know, everybody probably like, Dad, hold up, Dad. Just a week ago, you was posting him saying you fuck with boy. You're right. I fuck with his tactics. You right. feel me? But as far as how he betrayed himself as a man, when I right. seen that footage, um, that old block surveillance camera came out. Yeah. He was on the block at three twenty a.m. Right. With Got security. No, not even security. It was in a black van. Somebody recorded. I don't know if you seen this video. Yeah, someone, seen someone recorded him. Right. He walks back to the wheel. Soon as he said what he had to say on Instagram, immediately when they see a car pull up. Right. Like, nigga, what? Come right. on, dog. Just like Boy said, you's a bitch. What like, come on, man. About? That's not how it's supposed to go. Like, I had a lot of respect for him to the point where niggas was saying, yo, he ain't allowed to go to Chicago. And that nigga still went to Chicago. That's like someone saying, yo, I ain't allowed to come to Philly. And I come to Philly. The motherfucker that said I ain't allowed to come to Philly, he's going to look like a dickhead. Cause I'm in the city and I left safe and sound. You get what I'm saying? Him, on the other hand, 3:20 a.m. I think it was raining early in the morning, so I'm yeah. not I'm, I'm not thinking that motherfuckers is out. But I'm right. looking at it like, come on, dog. Why wasn't you out there at 10 o'clock, 11 o'clock? Right. When this shit really jumping for around. Because he know, man, that boy would have died. That's why he had all that security and had all that security paid, just like the bull Charlemagne said, man. How how is you losing money to show a nigga that you don't like him? You gonna spend all this money just right. to show a nigga that you don't like him? Right, 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 right. I'm about to say like you it's gotta look at the, you gotta look at the no tactics sense. too. Yeah. Like you don't you don't think that was a a, a fifty cent um trait? No, that's when dumb he, as um, shit. When even even when even when fifty cent did that's stupid shit. Like you just that's just that's beyond goofiness. Right. Like, Beyond goofiness, like right. right. you just a goofy ass nigga. That's how I look <laughs> at that nigga, like real shit. Yeah, like I don't you know. know. I, I feel like um, 
But that's how 50 Cent is. We don't know how 69 is. Like. One thing I can honestly say about 69 that he's doing, where he, which he's trolling, he's basically trolling his way up on the charts. He's 7 for right. 7 right now. Okay. That you mean, still a bitch. Mm. Like, don't be mm. coming to the shop right 3 o'clock in the morning making your little girlfriend videos <laughs> and, and leaving out. Like that's not that's not gangster shit. Nigga. Yeah, no, you right. It's not honorable let's, shit. Let's turn around to the other table, to the to the upside. What, what you would say? Right. Chief Keith and them was there three deep, no security. Facts. That's facts. In your city. That's facts. Got shot at too. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Like, you know what I mean? But I mean, you shooting in the air, but you know what I mean? Yeah. I, I, but it's cool, though. Like, I, don't, I don't understand why rappers is actually just trying to... But I don't understand the 69 and Chief Keith beef. I don't understand that. That's 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 basically the definition of turning nothing into something. Right. Like, he's he, 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 he trying to cross a line. Yeah, but like, it's not He's trying to cross a line that... He I really wish he would cross that line... When he was young, four or five years, yeah, come on, four or five years he wasn't ago. thought of. That's what I'm saying. Like you uh, said, he was known. I'm like, he wasn't known. No, you were like that. He people listened to um six nine. Yeah, back people then. did listen to him. Real shit, he was known behind the scenes. Like he really was. I like, never you think he heard known Trippy it. and all that. Like he really knew a lot of niggas. And Trippy, they all just came up. Trippy, right. How long Trippy been rapping, bro? I don't, I don't know. That's I don't what I'm saying. He been rapping like, like maybe three years tops. Yeah. But I'm saying like they all was connected. Like what they all was cool. He was connected. They just he just wasn't he wasn't on the music that he doing now. Yo, that shorty, um what's her name? Catch me outside. Did you see that post she um said about uh it was a video that she basically was talking about um um Trippy Red and right. um Six Nine. Basically saying, yo, like this extension death basically uh-huh. should wake up the people that act tough. Right. As if um, talking about six nine and Trippy Red that they need to stop putting on this um, demeanor or this um, character that they're tough and shit like that. Right. So I'm looking at it like, well, are you going to change up? Cause the shorty be acting like she right. buck wild as well. Right. Right. You 15, right. 16 years old. Like don't don't right. try to don't try to contradict yourself. But 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 you also see sixty nine. He turned that shit down yeah. real quick. He put his white flag up immediately. He said, <clears throat> um. Yeah, man, like, I'm just thinking about, like, life and shit. Like, I know I, I troll a lot and, you know, I take life for granted. Like, come on, dog. Don't do not do that, the man. The bull, like, Hunted. What's his name? Hunted, the funny bull. His name, Hunted something. Hunted Buck? 100 yeah, buck? yeah, 100 Buck. Yeah. He's talking real shit, man. Look, I listen to him. He said, the nigga 6'9", you a bitch. Mm. Like, that's all he said? You talking about all this Stone Cold shit now, uh-huh. you know what I mean? He's saying what you was just saying. Yeah, yeah. Like, now you want, you know what I mean? You want to put your white flag up. Like, yeah. nigga, like, a lot of people were saying that. Like, niggas was saying that he might be next, nigga. Niggas probably like, dog, this nigga's 6'9". He might be. I, I don't wish that for I mean, him, hell like, no. I'm not saying, saying like that. Say that. Yeah, I'm not saying like that. I'm not saying like that, but the, just, the way that it's The way saying, how you coming and carrying yourself is not honorable, and niggas is looking for you. And you're not hard sure. to find. You ain't. Trust and believe if Chief Keith really wanted to beef with you, he'd spend some money and had them shooters come up there. For real, for real. <laughs> yeah, like, you heard it. Like that. You heard Straight it. Like that. For real. This shot right. These niggas do this shit on a daily basis. Yeah. They don't give a fuck if it's Sunday. Yeah. On the you Lord's Day. On the Lord's Day. That's crazy. Philly crazy, but on Sunday, you get, it's quiet on these blocks. Man. Don't let no nigga lie to you. Like, no, it's I, quiet, bro. No, I, I feel that. I feel that. I just look at it like. A lot of people don't want that certain static, yo. It's right. a difference between right. rapping right. and a certain right. lifestyle. Like right. you gotta realize, this boy six nine. It's not like he can just throw he's the a white, gangster. He can't just throw the white flag up like this after a death that had nothing to do with him. I'm looking at it like that's the same thing I'm saying about Lil Reese when he said, "Oh, if Bull come back and say he apologized, oh, oh, he cool and all that." I mean, I know them. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I'm yeah. A, I'm going to tell you what you want to hear, but all reality, I'm going to fuck ball up. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I ain't going to fucking tell him myself yeah, on the ears yeah, and yeah, shit like yeah, that. Yeah, I feel yeah, it. Matter of fact, I ain't even going to say I ain't going to say that, but 6 9 no. Just like me, you know what I'm saying? That's the only honorable thing I could ever, you know what I mean, go right with him is keep the same energy. When you see me. When you see me. 
Because you know you might bump in the cheek. But what I'm saying is, like, the Bulls 6 9 heads, like, this go down his timeline. Right. Going back to probably late last year or early this year. Right. He was in L.A. They tried to ban his motherfucker from L.A. He went to L.A., right? right? They had the Crips in the building. In this hotel, the video I showed you. Right. The Crips was in the building. YG said, fuck 6 9 YG says, fuck 6 9 Another nigga, um, 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 something, 400, whatever his damn name is, right. uh, said, fuck 6 9 He went to um, 6 9 Hood in New York, doing all these interviews and shit. And then also, Game said, fuck 6 9 right? Mm-hmm. And then you got all these motherfuckers saying, fuck 6 9 right? right? I'm thinking, how the fuck is this nigga getting away with all this shit? Right. How, like, how, how? How did he get away from that situation, though? I he talked his way out of it, man. Like, he really be trolling his way up on the charts, yo. Like, I just feel as though boy just be sitting here like, all right, you know what? Like, this, don't get me wrong. I'm looking at it like this. He probably be like, look, I'm going to put on this fake persona that I'm tough and things in that sort. But in all actuality, yo, I'm just out here entertaining motherfuckers, yo. Right. I don't really don't want no static. I have a family to feed. I got a daughter, this, that, and the third. I'm not really about that life. Just let me have fun. I'm young. Right. Let y'all old motherfuckers just do what y'all doing. But in our actuality, I'm not doing anything. But tough. this nigga is putting himself right. in a I'm position where he can't walk out of safe and sound. Like niggas were saying, yo, he's putting the people that he's around life in danger because of him. Right. Like, yo, the boy academic said as well. He like, yo, I ain't going nowhere with that nigga. Yeah, that nigga got a lot of static. And if I'm going around with him, I might be caught in the wrong, you know, the wrong place at the yeah, wrong time in the crossfire. Too, like, he, 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 he pipes shit up. You know what I mean? Yeah. He be dick eating with bulls. I don't respect that nigga. Like, well, academics, I see why niggas don't like it. You do a lot of pussy ass shit. Like, <laughs> that's just real nigga shit. Like, you're not honorable. I will slap the shit out you. Mm. That's facts. Mm. Like, cause you. I thought that nigga was talking to me for just, a bit. That motherfucker. No, cause. Get him out. Cause. Shit, like, when, when they was talking about the whole Chief Key situation, mm-hmm. don't do that. Stay out of it. Right. Same way with Dirk. I ain't taking no side from nobody on that. Cause both of y'all was wrong. Y'all both homies. Mind y'all business. We grown right. ass men. All right. Now, if I'd have said something about you, I'd have said something about you, then it should turn to talk. Right. Right now, it ain't. It ain't trying to bitch you or shut you up or none of that. It's, it's just in your lane. Yeah. No, like, I understand it that. It ain't his lane. Like, well, I'm about to switch lanes right now. Yeah. Um, I'm about to ask you, what's your thoughts on this immigrant thing? I don't know if you've been paying attention to the news no, or I ain't been paying seeing attention. that um, a lot of immigrants, um, mm-hmm. families are being separated at the border. Right. You got kids in cages. Kids, like, ranging from the age of... Um, don't get me wrong, I don't want to quote it, but like maybe about four to about twelve. I was about to being say, deported. Nigga, if you say sixteen, no, nigga. like twelve. I'm just saying being deported. Right. As soon as you put, so like, let's say, just imagine you and your family going across the border of the United States, mm-hmm. and then as soon as you get to the border, you separated from the rip. Boom, right. straight like that. They got these young boys in cages. They got these people separated. Like, but they what they like doing animals. with them? Like, why y'all hold They just, them? like, in, a, like, a, a, a tender age shelter. I want to get that word right. right. A right. tender age um, shelter. Right. I was just um, looking right. at this before we even started filming right. about Donald Trump. He just recently mm. came out saying that he's about to sign an executive order mm. um, to get the families back together. Oh, okay. Um, okay. That's what he was trying to do. That's what he said he wants to do. But at the end of the day, he the one who put this shit in, in tech. Like, he, he the one oh, who set he, it up. Oh, he the one that did that shit. Yeah, because he the one, he, he got, it's the policy he put down. It's the order that he probably signed. You know, um, he basically indicating that he wants the United States to be safe and sound. He don't want no people coming in here that don't believe in what we believe in. Right. And things in that story, which is understandable. But right. you making it seem like everybody that crossed the border is terrorists. Like, you have to realize, man, like... This is supposed to be a land of the free. Right, you can do anything you want over like, here. Like, come on, man. This man is switching it up, and it's right. all in front of our faces. Right. You know, um... Definitely is on some type Hitler shit. Yeah, like, it's it's ridiculous, man. I really wanted to speak on this social media era as well. Right. Like, what's your thoughts on social media? Like, um, do you really feel like social media is really taking over, like, Hell yeah, our bro. generation? Yeah, it been took over our generation. And man, how long you think that? How long ago was that? Like since MySpace days? Yeah. Mm. No, fucking MySpace days. Nigga, since email days. 
Nigga like said, oh, I, said, I wasn't really emailing. He said, he's like, I know, I but I wasn't, email. I wasn't on the right emails, on though, but that's just all factual. Actual niggas is on emails. I ain't gonna say emails, this. nigga. I could say, motherfuckers don't remember this. 321 teen chat. You feel me? That is it. Ah, that. And I got years on this nigga. Man. 321 teen chat, nigga. That was the thing back in the day, yo. Man, and that was that? something where you had a chat room. It wasn't no okay. emails, but it would be a chat room and shit. And you'd just be talking to different people from, like, you'll be having a selection of. Cities and states or something where you can talk to a certain girl and right. you can be really conversing with this person If you get a number that's well right. all fine and good and people was really doing stuff like that right. You know, but right. um, it was the way back then. Right. Um, I ain't never meet nobody off that right. shit like fuck but um When I'm saying go back to the social media era I feel as though social media is really to a point where people are really Living in the fantasy like Charlemagne has said. Um, I don't well. think people living in the fantasy. It's just like it's, it's just the new wave. It's just the a it's just it's just a quicker way to catch up on everything. Okay. You understand, like, from back in the day where you read a magazine or you catch your favorite TV show or, yeah. watch, or catch the news at a certain time just to hear something. Like, you know what I mean? It's just a quicker way, but damn right, it's taking over everything. Like, it's taking control of everybody's life. You couldn't take a phone or a PlayStation or any d- device from a person right now at least for five months. Mm-hmm. They would go crazy. It's mm-hmm. like, what, what can we do? But versus people like certain people like us, where I I know what to do. All right, you can take this shit. I'm going to be bitching and, you know what I mean, crying all that. But after a while, all right, fuck it. I'm going to play cards then. Fuck it. Come on, y'all. I'm going to play cards then. We're going to play Monopoly or something. Y'all you know I mean, we from the 90s. You know all I mean, we ain't have nothing. We had this shit, but this shit didn't really mean nothing to us at first. It's to a point where you can't really be around your family or around people in general for a long time without looking at what's going on, on social media instead of just you can't enjoying even the moment. have a conversation like you know people just really want to see what's going on you know the likes yeah. the views the, the like what's going on like people really gravitate to death on camera but i'm you know? really about to cut all that social media shit out though okay like, going cold turkey yeah like not cold turkey but it's is just, there a reason why it's just it's just too much. I don't. I, I just want to block all that out right now. I don't want to know what's going on. So it's a distraction. Yeah, it's basically a distraction there from you the go. real world. There you like, go. There you go. There you it's go. It's kind of like balancing, and it's this. And that's too easy. Okay. That's too easy. I I need to lay off of that and get y'all you know I mean real reality right. So. All right. Yeah. Well, like I said, um, I really want to speak on this another thing as well. Mm-hmm. Before we end the show, um, did y'all see? I believe it was in Pittsburgh. It was a cop mm. that shot two kids mm. oh, yeah. that was running out the back of a wheel. Mm-hmm. In the back, one of them was thirteen. Yeah, he, he had to like. I thought it was like sixteen. And they said one was thirteen. I don't know the other age, but one was sixteen. I mean thirteen. Mm. And I'm sitting here just like, these motherfuckers, cops don't learn. Like, this is why I really feel the way I feel about cops, man. Like, not all cops, but majority of these cops. They wear that badge in in cognito or in the form to show that they're really someone that they're intended to be or really are. When they don't have that uniform on, they can act, you know, normal. They can walk the city. They can act like they're a regular civilian. But when they got that damn uniform on, yo... They feel as though they're in a superior position than you. They don't protect and serve. They motherfucking harass and kill. That's exactly Cops what they do. Cops is a big gang, man. They is a big, huge gang. Not all cops, though. All cops. Mm. You want to know why it's all cops? Because you have to live by the brother code. And that's what they go by. Most white mob, I ain't, I ain't racing or nothing, but you know cops it is, is most. It is. You call yeah, spade spade. yeah, most most cops are white. Y'all you know I mean motherfucker. So it's about the brotherhood. Y'all you know I mean I ain't talking about black wives, but I'm just saying like y'all you know I mean we gotta stick with each other. Right. So how I many good cops you seen last long? For real, for real. Well, actually, I got a, um, I know a cop personally that I grew mm-hmm. up with. Like when I say grew up with, I mean like um. I went to Powell, Police Athletic League in Winfield right. when I played, you know, recreation, you know what that right. is. Yeah. You know, a cold guy, man. He played he played the cold, right? Mm-hmm. And I don't know, I never knew him when he was on the force. Right. But as far as him being a, um, a leader in the Powell community, mm-hmm. you know, he's pretty, you know, real and a pretty good influence in my life. 
Uh, not like, every cop though, but I already spoken yeah, at your no, box. Not every cop, but I'm just saying you get a scenario like this, y'all you know I mean you got a bad cop and a good cop. Y'all you know I mean y'all come across whatever X amount of drugs and money. Mm -hmm. Listen, I'm taking half of this. You take this. I don't give a fuck if you want it or not. Right. But you're taking this. Shut the fuck up and if you say something, you're done. <laughs> no, real shit. No, that's, I it might I sound it. like a no, movie no, or no, something, no, but no. that's how cops really no, is. Like, pull you to the side, bro, daylight. You could be in front of the whole fucking district. Right. But he talking to you. Yeah, go ahead, take this and... I mean, don't fucking say nothing. Or I had the whole rest of the game tell the tell, um, SARS you did X, Y, Z. Yeah, yeah, pulling up dirt. Yeah, I know. You know what I'm saying? I know exactly what it so is. So that's why I said, I, I mean, good cops you think last long. Plus, the money good. Yeah. And you get pussy out of that. And, <laughs> I mean, yeah, yeah. Shit. What do y'all have I mean, like, y I, I mean, listen, whatever is your twist. You going to find your twist after a while. If that's the job you want to do, you want to stick with it, and you a noodle-ass nigga, then you going to find your twist to ease that pain off. Right. You understand? No, I definitely feel right. it. I feel that, but like I said, not all cops like it's like yeah, you, got cops, cops, yeah. you got some cops. You got some damn cops that is really just go there, and get down there, get their get their damn check, provide mm -hmm. for their family, but also right. hate cops at the same damn time. Mm -hmm. You feel me? Like mm -hmm. if I were a beat, mm, I ain't gonna speak on that. But that's the end of the damn damn uh, show, man.